Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today we're going to talk about the magic food, Rapashi. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage, a pen and a paper, and perhaps your reading glasses so you can learn how to make Rapashi like the pros do. Fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. Guys, if you haven't done this already, hit that subscribe button and of course, the notification bell. So today we're gonna to be talking about Rapashi. And I know you guys are like, what in the heck is Rapashi? Well, Rapashi is a gel food, meaning it comes in a powder and you mix boiling water with it and then miraculously, through the magic of chemistry, it becomes gel food, kind of like Jello. Um, and Rapashi comes in many different flavors. Um, I buy mine from Keith at KJE Aquatics. And uh, I know a lot of people have been talking about foods recently on social media. And there are a million foods out there, some great, some not so great, some just okay. Rapashi is one of those, those foods that I think is universally agreed upon as being a great food for all kinds of fish. Now I have two flavors that I ordered. I have Bottom Scratcher for Plecos and I have Igapo Explorer, which is for sort of community fish or all species, uh, but I know that my guppies love it. And so I'm gonna show you how to make it, how I make it obviously, what you need to make it, and uh, then how to feed it when we're all done. So a couple things we need. Uh, we need some way of measuring liquid, that's water. We need a mixing vessel, that's this bowl. We need a mixing utensil, spatula. And we need something to put it in. Now, some people just put it in like a, a square or a rectangle like Rubbermaid or, or uh, you know, microwavable container. I like these little fancy um, ice cube trays. You buy them on Amazon, I'll put an affiliate link down below. I've talked about these before. I have a few different sizes that I've tried. This seems to be my favorite for my setup. Now I have 60 tanks, so I'll make one can of Rapashi that will fill this up and I'll use it in one day. You, however, may make this and it might take you a week or two to use it. And so just like regular food, Rapashi is, has a shelf life. Once you make it, it's good for two weeks in the refrigerator. Obviously, if kept refrigerated. I've never had to keep it that long because I've always used it before that. Um, but you can make small amounts, you can freeze it, you can actually feed the powder to fry. You can do whatever you want, but here we go. Let me show you how to make it. So, uh, the directions say um, one part powder to two to three parts water. So this is six ounces of powder. I'm gonna make it all. It may actually be a little bit more than uh, this, this uh, ice cube tray. Just got to be a little bit smarter than the packaging to open it. And so, you know, here's what it looks like. I'm just going to pour it in. So after you pour it in, six ounces of mix, two to three parts water. So now I'm going to go at least 12 ounces of water. Now I have here in these cups, these are obviously insulated cups. This is my Snowflake Tears cup. I love it. A uh, subscriber actually sent it to me. It's funny because we had some words on Facebook about politics and after the fact, he apologized because he thought he was wrong and I appreciate that. That takes a real man to apologize, especially about politics on social media. Anywho, uh, I put the boiling water in here. The, the biggest trick I can give you for Rapashi, the water has to be boiling or as close to boiling as physically humanly possible. Anyway, so I'm gonna open this without, hopefully without burning myself because that would really suck. Okay, so we need at least 12 ounces. I'd probably go up to 14 or 15. And so this is like 15 ounces of water. And you basically just pour it in and mix. And you just wanna make sure all the powder is incorporated into the water and it becomes a nice smooth mixture. Now this is hot, be careful, you can see the steam don't go putting your fingers in here, checking it and tasting it like it was brownie mix. Because it's certainly not. Trust me. I've never tried it. Or have I? I'm pretty sure you guys could pay me enough to try it. But it would have to be a lot. Alright, this is a good consistency. Now we're going to put it in our mold. 
and I just scoop it like this and then you have to kind of work quickly when you do this. I'm gonna move this out of the way for now and I'm gonna put this over here so hopefully you can see. We need some more of the goop. Now as it cools it really starts to solidify and you can actually put it in the tank like this. I like to let it cool uh, just a little bit so that uh, I can feed these little cubes uh, to different tanks. Now, a couple of questions I know you guys are, are thinking about already is, Mike, does it smell? It does have a little bit of a smell to it. One of the reasons why I like this particular uh, set of um, ice cube trays is it has a lid which cuts down on the smell. Upper management does not like the smell, and I try really not to... Uh, to lose a battle with this smell because there's so many other things that I uh, I battle with, you know. So I'm gonna scrape off the top so you can see the the little separation so that it doesn't stick together when it hardens. You can also harden it at room temperature. Um, I don't know anything about shelf life, but I know you can because I've done it and I've used it right away. There's no problems. So here we go. There's our done mixture and like this stuff you could just throw in a tank let's see if Chewy likes it. I mean oh god I can't believe I did that let's see if Taco likes it oh boy does he like it he likes everything including my finger if I put it in there I'm sure actually he's pretty good he hasn't bit me I put my hand in there many many times I've been petting his cock uh, and he he really likes it who doesn't though anyway uh, why don't you guys go ahead and refill your snack and beverage. I'm going to let this cool a little bit and solidify, and then I'll show you how to feed it. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, it's actually the next day. I had planned to do it later on the same day, but, you know, life happens. What are you going to do? So here is my um, ice cube tray. They're hexagons. It's got this little cover on it. And then here, you know, they just, they just pop out, and here's what it looks like. It's like a hard little smushy piece of jello it's a little harder than jello uh you can actually make these like i said with more water and uh they're a little bit less dense but uh, i don't let them warm up or get to room temperature i just drop them in a tank and that's what i'm gonna do so stand by and i will show you well fishy folks do they like it these are yellow snake skin guppies out of quarantine, available on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. And look at them devouring the rapashi that's available at KGE Aquatics. Check out the new website, kgeaquatics.com. Also on Facebook, KGE Aquatics. Now, uh, here's the thing with rapashi. Let me, let me show you. I, ha I dropped it in almost every tank. Um, guppies will eat it. Plecos will eat it. This particular flavor, everybody likes. Uh, it's really mainly for the guppies, but you know, Plecos, they they like it. I mean, that big male brown and the female albino, and there are some like juveniles getting in there, trying to get uh, get their piece. And uh, I just fed these tanks, these Pleco tanks with uh, kelp wafers from Northfin maybe two hours ago. You can see there's still some debris from that. Uh, we have these uh, half black blues devouring it. Let's go over here. Red metal lace. All these guppies, by the way, are available on the website, michaelsfishing.com. Uh, everybody loving it. Now, the thing with rapashi is uh, it usually disappears within 24 hours. It will cloud your water. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Um, this isn't cloudy water from me dropping rapashi in a minute ago. This is cloudy water from me feeding rapashi yesterday. So uh, if you remember, I had some left over in the bowl, the red and white bowl. I just scooped it into the tanks and fed it while I was down here. So um, that's that, folks. Rapashi is great food. Don't let making it yourself scare you. Don't let the fact that some people say it smells scare you. Um, it, you know, it, it's really good food. It's good for them. It certainly can be a staple, but most people feed it not as a treat, but maybe once or twice a week, or, you know, they, they make a batch and feed it. Look at that long, thin, super red male 
eating. Oh, that is a sexy, sexy pleco. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta move on. Uh, the, uh, people sometimes, you know, they'll make a batch and then they feed it uh, until the batch is done, and then maybe a week or two later they feed it again, and that's fine. Plenty of different flavors. Look at the mutts down there eating it. Just loving life. Guys, any questions, comments, concerns, give me a shout. Michaelsfishroom.com. You can message me through there and buy lots of stuff from me or Keith. Hi. Hi. Hi, fishy folks. Before we get started with Rapashi, if you could just do me a favor and make sure you uh, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, uh, hit that notification bell. And then go to TikTok, check out my TikTok as well. Uh, all places, TikTok and YouTube. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, Rapache, once you make it, it's just like regular food for people. It has a shelf life in the fridge. And uh, I think here on the package, uh, it says it's good for, I have no idea.